Welcome to C++ in under 5 minutes, episode number 3. Today, we are going to be taking a look at how to perform some basic integer arithmetic. This includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The first three are pretty straightforward, but when we get to division, you will see that integer division can get a bit wonky. And I'll talk about that towards the end of this video. But first, we need to create some variables. So I need four integer variables. And these are going to store the results from each arithmetic operation. So we're going to have int integer 1. And we're going to initialize all of these to 0 from here. It's just a matter of copying and pasting. So control C, enter, control V, control V, control V. And we're just going to change the numbers on the ends of these. So that's integer 2, integer 3, and integer number 4. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of space. And I'm going to start out with addition because that's probably um, the easiest operator to understand. So I'm going to grab our integer one variable and this is going to go on the left side and we're going to set that equal to five plus five semicolon. And of course the result from this should be 10. We need to print out the results. So we're gonna use C out five plus five is insertion operators and we're just going to drop in integer one to print out integer one and l to skip to the next line and a semicolon to top it all off we are going to compile and run this and as you guys can see the result is 10 that is correct that is exactly what we should be getting 5 plus 5 is 10 now we're going to jump down to subtraction which is pretty much the same story i'm going to grab our integer 2 variable we're going to drop it down here. We're going to set that equal to what's an easy problem. How about 10 minus 5? We all know that should be equal to 5. So 10 minus 5 semicolon. And of course, we need to print it out just as we did above. So 10 minus 5 is insertion operator, insert number 2, and an end L statement just to drop it down to the next line so everything doesn't look all sloppy on the output. So we are going to compile and run this again. And it looks like I made a mistake right here. I accidentally changed the uh, variable to integer number one because I hit control uh, B instead of control C. And right here, I need to change this to integer number two. Integer number two, wasn't paying attention there. That should all be fixed. And we are ready to go again. So as you can see, that result is correct after uh, we made some quick fixes to our code. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10 right above that. Both of those results are correct. Now we get down to multiplication, which is also an easy one. So we're going to be using integer number 3 for this. So I'll try to hit control C this time and not destroy our code. So control V. And we're going to set that equal to 5 times 5, which we all know is 25. C out. Insertion operators, 5 times 5 is, and we are going to drop in our integer number 3 variable, drop in an end L, and we're going to put a space right here just to make things a little more neat. Compile and run this. And as you guys can see, the result from multiplying 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 5 is 25, 10 minus 5 is 5, and 5 plus 5 is 10. Now we get to division, and division is a little interesting. So I'm going to start out with a very easy division example, and of course we are going to be using our final integer value, and that is integer number 4. So integer 4 equals 25 divided by Five. And as you know, that should give us five. So if I throw another C out statement down here, C out five, or actually 25 divided by five is, and then we're gonna copy and paste integer four in there. And we're just gonna throw in an end out to top everything all off. And if we run this, compile and run this, you can see that the result is correct. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Now what happens if we change this to 24? Since these are integers and they need to return a whole number, what happens? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what happens. So I'm going to change this to 24 down here as well. Compile and run it. 
And as you guys can see, 24 divided by 5 is 4. And this is actually correct, because 5 does go into 24 four times. This just isn't returning our remainder. So how do we get a remainder uh, from a integer whole number in C++? Well, we can do that using the modulus operator. And this is a very important operator, um, especially if you're going in for an interview or something like that. Uh, they ask about the modulus operator a lot. It's very common in FizzBuzz. So this is something that you should definitely read up on. Once again, the link to the C++ book that I prefer is down in the description. So the modulus operator is the percent sign. And what this does is it returns the remainder. So 24 divided by five is four, but we still have four left over. So 24 modulus five is four because we have a remainder of four. So if I change this to 23, 23 modulus five should return three because 23 divided by five is still four, but instead of having a remainder of four, we now have a remainder of three. And as you can see, that is 100% correct. 23 modulus five is three. If you're really set on wrapping your head around C++, then I would highly recommend having a written resource laying around. And this is a great book. This is C++ Premiere Plus by Stephen Prada. I bought this last week, read through it, and I love this book. I had to use a uh, different C++ book for college during my uh, C++ courses there. And this blows that book out of the water. It's much easier to read. I love the way this is laid out. And it has everything, pretty much everything, that you need to know about C++ in here. Tons of examples. And if you want to check this out, I will put the link to it down in the description. It's also very affordable, um, especially compared to most college textbooks. This was 30 bucks off Amazon. I couldn't even rent my C++ book that I had for college for 30 bucks. That thing costs at least 60 bucks to rent. So um, a real bargain, tons of content in here, good content, well-written, lots of examples. And if you want to check this out, once again, link will be down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. If you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.